Hungary's economy is expected to continue growing. Next year, it'll expand by more than 4%, well over almost all of Europe. The government says that anticipated additional revenues will be used to help finance substantial increases in education funding, health care, and family support programs. Compared to this year, public prosecutors and public security will receive 85 billion forints more. The education budget will grow by 116 billion, and public health care will receive 221 billion more forints next year. The government will be spending the most on supporting families, more than 1 trillion 900 billion forints. The state secretary at the cabinet office of the prime minister said that the government is putting the interests of families and people who make their living from work first in next year's state budget. The majority of parliament agreed with our intentions, so next year's state budget will be a budget for people making a living from work. Wage increase programs will continue along with tax cuts, family tax benefits could further expand and we will be able to further reinforce Hungary's security. A growing economy will grant a stable background for all of this, he explained. The Hungarian economy's performance will provide the backing for the tax cuts and extra expenses, said the state secretary for public finances. He added that the government calculates a 4.3 percent GDP increase next year, higher than this year's. We foresee significant economic growth, almost twice the European Union's average in 2018, which means that 4.3 percent is the scale of growth that we expect the Hungarian economy to expand by in 2018, said the state secretary. Peter Benő Banai emphasized average net wages are expected to grow by 8.8 percent next year, while inflation could be around 3 percent. This means that real wages could grow by 6%, meaning the worth of next year's wages could be worth that much more than this year's paychecks.